memorable person I met was Robin Lim. She was CNN Hero of the Year. Robin is an American who's moved to Bali a long time ago and has helped many Balinese women give birth in the most natural and gentle way. Robin Lim is a midwife and with her methods she has helped countless women to give birth safely and with love. And, and it's empowering because oh. when you know when women go to hospitals and then they have you know doctors and mm -hmm. being bright lights and, and they feel that someone and then they else don't, is they're in they're taken away from their family and they're put in a place mm -hmm. alone with strangers and they do lose their power. And it should be an environment that is supportive, loving, because this is the beginning of a life. Mm -hmm. Well, chaos theory says that dynamic systems are uh, impacted by their startup conditions. So the impact on the most dynamic thing in the world is a brand new human being. I mean, it's just the most amazing system in the world. So if we're going to impact that new baby, we need to think about what that impact can be. Is it going to be a gentle touch? What does the baby really want? Does the baby really want to come into the world, cord clamped and cut, bright lights, people yelling and clanging instruments, and then the baby gone, and the mother saying, where's my baby? And of course she wants her baby, so she hemorrhages. Because naturally, as mammals, we want our baby right here. Why are we called mammals? Because of our mammary glands. We feed our babies with our breasts. That's why we're called mammals. So the mother naturally wants to put the baby to the breast. Skin to skin contact. Skin to skin. And this is a natural, pro pro top, natural pro national protocol in Indonesia to allow the baby skin to skin, natural childbirth, and initiation of breastfeeding. It is an economic challenge in that no one can make money from breastfeeding. So it gets sabotaged right on the hospital level, you know. I mean, we know that all over the world, a pediatrician can get a new car from a formula company, which sabotages breastfeeding startup. The only way I see of making a more peaceful society is to take care of each and every individual, because every individual is a piece of peace, is going to make up a society that's peaceful or warring. So as a baby without trauma that we bring into the world, like Safir, who you held earlier, she's a piece of peace. She's not a piece of war. She's going to contribute to the greater good of this planet. She's going to protect our environment. Everyone is so worried about global warming, and they should be. But it's this generation coming up of gently born people who are going to be leaders in a gentle, more loving way on Earth. Another important international figure I interviewed on Face to Face is one of the world's most powerful people, and also a woman. She is Christine Lagarde, who heads the International Monetary Fund, or IMF, recruited after the fund was dragged in the mire by her predecessor, who left the job in disgrace. Ranked seventh as the most powerful woman in the world by Forbes magazine in 2013, Lagarde is known for her no-nonsense straightforwardness, bringing a different leadership style to this traditionally male-dominated institution. Okay, the word immune. Um, mm -hmm. With a global crisis at the moment, um, um, but with uh, this side of the world, actually we've been seeing a lot of positive growth. Mm -hmm. Uh, unlike what we see uh, in the advanced economies. And do you think um, Indonesia can be immune or will we be at some point uh, be affected by the global crisis? And if so, what needs to be done in order to strengthen mm. our economic health? Mm. Well, many of the advanced economies have been going through um, a crisis of some sort since, say, 2007. And the um, dynamic emerging market economies, such as Indonesia, have fared exceptionally well throughout this financial crisis, as we called it. This crisis is, is lasting uh, quite a long time, and the recovery as we see it now is, is fairly tepid in most advanced economies. So in order to continue to be as protected as possible, I think that the strategy of your president, which consists of really making sure that the domestic market is vibrant, that there is quality investment coming into the country, 
that there are strong relationships, including trade relationships, between countries of this part of the world, with links to other emerging market economies as well, particularly in Latin America, which is far away and yet going through the same sort of development as, as this region. I think those are, those are really good proposals uh, to, uh, to, to, to try to avoid uh, the consequences mm -hmm. uh, and the sort of collateral effects of the crisis that affects Europe at the moment. Well, finally, <laughs> this is exactly one year uh, that you've been on yep. on the job. So how do you feel about it? Uh, what, are, what are the main sort of challenges that you've sort of been facing and, um, you know, your first year? Well, the office. first challenge is to stay fit <laughs> and to keep up because uh, we're not short of work to do, we're not short of challenges, we're not short of um, solutions uh, to be found. So that's... Uh, is it a 24-hour job for you? Yeah, very much so. I mean, I, I do wake up quite often in the middle of the night to check, you know, what what's going on, what the teams are doing in such and such corner of the world. Yeah, it's a 24-hour job. Do you have good sleep? Or can you, can you I have to, yes. <laughs> <laughs> And that's all for today's special episode and I would like to wish you all a very happy new year and let's hope it's a prosperous one. And don't forget to join me in our next episode of Face to Face with Dixie Anwar, bringing you the world. our lives. In this episode, <laughs>